and uh, welcome to my uh, video on correlation in my previous videos we talked about um, high square and uh, high square tests and ANOVA so in high square we use categorical variables and ANOVA we use one categorical variable and one continuous variable that is one way ANOVA so in this video we are going to be talking about correlation where we generally use continuous variables so both variables are continuous so there are cases where you can use categorical variables but we are not going to be covering that we're going to be covering uh, Pearson's correlation analysis where we'll be using only continuous variables. So uh, what's a correlation? A correlation can help indicate if and how two variables are related to each other. Yeah. So a positive correlation indicates that when one variable goes up or down, the correlated variable also goes up or down along with it. So for example, when income goes up, so does spending and vice versa. So uh, basically when one variable goes up, the other goes up as well. And when one goes down, the other goes down as well. So they go together. So that's what we call as a positive correlation. The second type of correlation, which is called as negative correlation, is when two items are correlated in such a manner that when one variable goes up, the other goes down and vice versa. So for example, when price of a product goes up, the demand for it goes down. So that's an opposite relationship. We, we call it a negative correlation. Yeah. So these are the two types of correlations. Positive correlation when both variables go together up and or together down. Negative correlation when one goes up, the other goes down. Or when the other goes down, the other goes up. Basically, the uh, an opposite relationship. That's a negative correlation. So what are the features of a correlation? So they tell us about existing relationships. They tell us whether there is an existing relationship between two or more variables, whether they are correlated. And then it tells us about the nature of the relationship, whether it's a positive or negative. And finally, but not always, we use continuous variables, uh, such weight, height, age, income, time, etc. But it's not necessary. We can also use uh, certain other types of variables. But generally, in this type of uh, test, especially the Pearson's correlation analysis, we use continuous variables. So in the next part of the video, I'll be talking about how to actually perform it in PSPP a correlation analysis using PSPP um, yeah uh, so here uh, uh, we're going to be using uh, certain variables continuous variables to see if they are correlated with each other so this is about a, this data uh, with regard to employees in a company in a corporate company we want to measure their depression scores we want to see how if they are correlated with uh, certain other variables in the study so let's go ahead and do it let's go to analyze in analyze uh, we need to click on bivariate correlation bivariate correlation um, then we need to um, click on uh, uh, the variables we need to select the variables that we need to uh, examine so we only select the continuous variables here so age is a continuous variable then we select education uh, then we may select number of family members then uh, total monthly expenditure so these are all continuous variables they're in numbers then finally we'll uh, include the variable that we're interested in which is the depression so total depression scores continuous so i'm including that as well then we click ok yeah so here uh, ignore this table this is actually an older one um, i think i'll do it again so that it's much clearer uh, yeah so I'll just click ok yeah so now we have the correlation table over here now uh, here we can see that uh, we don't need to look at the whole table we only need to look at the last column so here you can see that age and depression there is a positive correlation because there is no negative symbol here and uh, it's statistically significant at 0 0.002 which is uh, that is statistically significant at a high level then a, a, a depression and education there is a positive correlation but it's not statistically significant there is about 27% error then total number of family members and depression there's a negative correlation because there's a minus symbol or negative symbol here and it's statistically not significant either then finally you have the total monthly expenditure of the family and depression score uh, that's positively correlated you can see a 0.37 symbol 0.37 there so there's no minus symbol so that means there's a positive correlation and it's statistically significant at 0 0.008 that is p is less than uh, 0 0.01 you know so it's a statistically significant at a high level so now we're going to copy this to a word file and then interpret it so now we have this uh, table uh, that i've created 
So here uh, you can see the EA variables that we are looking at and then uh, how they correlate to the depression. This is a correlation value and this is a significance. These are the number of observations that are there. So a correlation value can be uh, between minus one and plus one. And when you say the correlation is exactly equal to one, that means that there's a perfect uh, correlation between uh, that variable, uh, between the two variables. So closer to one, stronger the correlation. And uh, a correlation value of higher than 0.7 is considered to be a very strong correlation. So in this table, you can see from the set table, it can be said that there is a positive correlation between depression and the three variables. That is age, okay, R is, R stands for correlation, R is equal to 0.43, education, R is equal to 0.16, and total monthly expenditure R is equal to 0.37. So all these are positive, that's why I put it in green so that you can understand that's positively correlated and that there is a statistically significant correlation between depression scores and age of the respondents. So age and depression score, there's a positive correlation and statistically significant. Uh, and also there's a positive correlation between total monthly expenditure and depression score. Uh, that's also uh, statistically significant at a high level. That is, P is less than 0 0.01, less than a 1% one, uh, 1 error, you know. So, so in other words, we say that is, as the age and age and monthly expenditure of the respondent uh, increases, yeah, so does their depression score. So there's a positive correlation. When one variable goes up, the other goes up as well. Furthermore, there is a negative correlation between depression score of the respondents and the total number of family members uh, and the total number of family members in the respondents family. So here you can see a negative correlation that is as the number of family members increases, uh, the depression score decreases. However, this is not statistically significant. So we can't be sure of this correlation. So uh, I only report the ones that are statistic. I only highlight the ones that are statistically significant. Yeah. So in this case, the family member's case where we have a negative correlation, we clearly mentioned that the correlation was not found to be statistically significant in this regard. So this is one way of interpreting the results. There are multiple ways of interpreting it, I'm sure. Uh, if you find a better way, you can go ahead and do it. And uh, But this is one of the simplest ways, I feel. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like this uh, yeah, thank you.